from high atop Healthcare Hill in Central Maryland. This is BSN Headline News. Today's top story is National Catholic Sisters Week. National Catholic Sisters Week is being celebrated for the first time this year during the week of March 8th through the 14th as part of Women's History Month. So why celebrate Catholic Sisters? Well, this is a great story to tell. We can point to women religious who have made and continue to make vital contributions in education, healthcare, criminal justice, social justice, theology, the arts, and even politics. Wherever good things are happening, there are likely to be sisters not just involved, but making a tremendous positive difference. Their passion is to stand with the poor and vulnerable, regardless of race, socioeconomic status, or religion. In addition to highlighting the significant role that women religious have played in our world histories, National Catholic Sisters Week hopes to also make visible a contemporary view of Catholic sisters, their lives, their mission, and their works that bring to light the tremendous impact they are making every day. During this inaugural year, everyone is encouraged to be part of igniting this movement by announcing National Catholic Sisters Week in your schools, parishes, hospitals, and local civic arenas. As for Bon Secours, look for National Catholic Sisters Week in your huddle sheets, on posters, or if you are in Marriottsville today, March 10th, join the sisters in the Patel Room of the Bon Secours Retreat and Conference Center for a lunch and learn. Did you know there are many ways to get involved with the Bon Secours Sisters? Become an associate. Consider volunteering. Send the sisters a prayer request. Meet and talk to a sister in your local system. It's easier to do than you might think. Oh, and if you're thinking about life as a sister, visit the sisters' chat room for an online experience. Next chats are March 10th and March 24th from 7 to 8 p.m. You can find out all about this at www.lifeasasister.org or bonsecourvocations.org. National Catholic Sisters Week is going on now through March 14th. Ask yourself, what can I do to participate? Bon Secours means good help. During this National Catholic Sisters Week, maybe we can be good help to the sisters. In other news, on March 3rd, 2014, Truven Health Analytics published their annual 100 Top Hospitals in the United States, and Bon Secours St. Francis Downtown was the only hospital in South Carolina to make that list. Since 1993, the Truven Health 100 Top Hospitals program has used independent and objective research to guide hospital and health system performance. Organizations do not apply or pay for this honor or pay to promote their award. The Top 100 Hospital program recognizes top performing hospitals as both how patients are cared for through clinical measures and how the hospital performs as an effective business. The 100 top hospitals selected this year, as in the past, have achieved performance excellence and are leading their peer hospitals toward unprecedented improvements in healthcare. Based on the results of this year's study, if all Medicare inpatients received the same level of care as those treated at Bon Secours St. Francis downtown, more than 165,000 additional lives could be saved. Nearly 90,000 additional patients could be complication free. $5.4 billion could be saved. And the average patient stay would decrease by nearly half a day. Please join us in recognizing Bon Secours St. Francis downtown as one of the 100 top hospitals in the nation. Thus, 
ensuring our care is extraordinary. Finally, the Winter Olympics are over, but the fun of the Olympic celebrations will last in the minds of Bon Secours Chevere Pavilion residents for a long time. That's because the Chevere Pavilion hosted their own Winter Games for their long-term residents. Starting Monday, February 10th, Chevere Pavilion staff and residents began their Winter Olympics with an opening ceremony in the dining hall. They passed an Olympic torch from one person to another, honored the Parade of Nations by handing out international flags for residents to wave during the singing of our national anthem. Then, during the week, residents played a modified series of Olympic games like ice fishing, curling, and snowball throwing, all in good fun for the residents. According to Carrie Call, Director of Recreation, games and entertainment have an important value in long-term care at Chevere Pavilion. Therapeutic recreation is essential to the quality of life and the quality of care of individuals receiving health and human services. Now, just so you know, all programs at Chevere Pavilion are designed to meet the psychosocial and physical needs of the residents with activities that are not only enjoyable, but are also intended to achieve this goal. The Winter Olympics in Little Sochi, otherwise known as Bon Secours Chevere Pavilion. Well, that's it for this week. Stay tuned to this portal for future up to the minute information on these and other stories on BSN Headline News. I'm Dave Schlachter. Thanks for joining us. BSN Headline News is a production of Bon Secours Productions and is solely responsible for its content.